Hello students, welcome back. This is a question from gate 2008 exam. It's for one mark. They have given you this circuit and they have given the definitions of function f1, f3 and f. Okay, this is f1, this is f3, this is f. We need to find out what is f2. Also, they have given you these four options. So, let us try to find f2. For that, let us analyze this OR gate first of all. One of its input is high on 1, 6 and 15. See, these are the main terms. 1, 6 and 15. It's F3. F3 is here. That means whenever the input to F3 is 1, 6 or 15, this wire will output 1. Okay, This wire will be high or it will contain a positive voltage. And output of this F gate is, sorry, F is 1, 6, 15 and 8. Okay, 1, 6, 15, we have it here. Whenever any one of the inputs of a OR gate is 1, it will output a high. So on 1, this input is high. So it will output a high. On 6 also, it will output a high. On 15 also, it will output a high. So all of these are okay. But what about this 8? Whenever input to these functions is 8, they will... Uh, not this one f3 will not output high okay so this input of OR gate is not high on it but output must be high that means we need a 8 here okay so this wire must contain a positive voltage whenever input is 8 now let's analyze this AND gate when both of its uh, both of its inputs are high only in that case it will output high okay that means we need to have a 8 here the uh, function f2 must be sigma m 8 okay we need at least 8 there could be some more values also actually i haven't written it properly i have just written those numbers but this is the proper way of writing sigma m that indicates these are the main terms then bracket and you can write comma separated values here. Okay, anyways, I think you're getting it. So whenever the input is 8, F1 will output high, that means this wire will contain 1. F2 will output high, that means this wire will contain 1. Both of the inputs are 1, so this one will also contain 1. So on 8, we will have a 1 here. Now on 8, this wire contains 0, this wire contains 1. So any one of the inputs of OR gate is 1, so it will output high, okay. Now let's find out what is the answer to this question. We have determined that F2 will at least contain 8, okay. So option A can be rejected. All of these three contain 8, so any one could be possible. Let's analyze B part. If this one is 4, 8, okay. When the input is 4, both of these wires will be high hence output will also be high on 4 okay and you will get you know, 4 in the final output also which is not acceptable because they are saying final output is 1 6 8 and 15 okay 4 is not accepted here that means this one is also rejected let's analyze option c option c says f2 is 6 and 8 that means f2 is high on the input 6 and the input 8 okay so i've written it here 6 and 8 now you see 8 we require it okay that's done what about 6 when the inputs are 6 function f1 as well as function f2 both will output high okay we will get a 1 here and hence both the inputs of this and gate are 1 you will get uh, 1 in the output okay so this one will be 1 and i've written 6 here because uh, on 6, you are getting a output high. Only on these two values, you get output high. Now, see, we require 6 in output. Okay. So, we don't care if this one is high or low on 6. Because 6, we already have. one uh, On 6, one of the inputs of OR gate is 1. Okay. So, we don't care about the other input. It will uh, certainly be present in the output. So, this one will be your answer. Okay.